other starborn were to join in. You know what? I actually appreciate that. I do. But we both know why we're here. So... Let's not wait any longer. set up an app.
don't know if our instrumentation is rated for long-term exposure to this level of cold. Some enterprising starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Another layer to get past before we can reach the temple. Expect more starborn along the way.
Switching to a new target. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more?
that anomaly? The temple's artifact is reacting to all the fighting. It might be the only way through. Okay, you. You're up. If something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. a shift in space-time, a dip into the multiverse. We'll have to go through a few more to reach the center. All right, keep yourself steady. wager that the reactor in there was this facility's primary power source. The temple is just If something's you. on your mind, Always. have something for me? Thank you. 
We have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. I'm impressed. How did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the Unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying. Come on, you can make it! Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. This ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? What are you then? Some lost soul? No salvation here. Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but. Okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit? I just lost a friend.
you made it this far. Serves me right for not being convincing enough. <laughs> Is this where you give your big speech? <laughs> Let's hear it. You're worried about my life. Touching. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I like the way you think. By just letting you walk away with the artifacts? I don't think so. I've listened, and I'm not impressed. Now, let's get to it.
interesting conclusion to jump to. I suddenly find myself feeling the weight of years. Fine. Just this once. In just this universe. Here. You've done it. The temple's artifact is yours. No, this was your victory. You've proven that you're ready to enter the Unity. I know we aren't from the same universe, but... It kind of feels like old times. Yeah. All the artifacts I've gathered. Place the armillary in your ship. Then power up your grab drive. It will take care of the rest. You will see the glory of our multiverse. And your place in it. Then you will be asked to make a choice. I will say no more. I would speak to them before you go. No. My place is in this universe now. That is a difficult question. You might as well be asking, when is the Unity? Why does the Unity exist? Or how does the Unity truly work? It is not a fixed place in space-time. You'll be... Well, you'll have more like understanding when you get there. This is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Pani, I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. That's not what I mean, but... I love you, too. Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. We both know that one of us is going to let curiosity win out, eventually. It's who we are. But... I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. For a little while, at least. Well, hello, sunshine. I'd be happy to carry...
lie down. I used to be an actor. Each of our unique Starship models is expertly crafted by the Civil Systems We have everything you need for all your needs. This better not be a waste of my time. If it's too hot to... <laughs> yeah. here. Time to move on. Friends, your ultimate discovery? Step through the door of Seekhart Summoners and you'll get your Have a look for yourself. <laughs> He's never looked better. Had the paint cleaned up, some things smoothed out of his chassis, and even upgraded his firmware. <laughs> All thanks to you. Look, I, I know it's ridiculous to be this excited about having that big old tin can around, but uh, <laughs> he's still the only friend I've got. Come to think of it, after you took the time to help me, I I'd say I've made a new friend. And uh, you're welcome here anytime. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock, too. Line of equipment and accessories. Feel like you should have seen the look. Of course. I have a... Tell everyone you know about our store. Miss Mc I feel a great certainly, my friend.
It was good of you to stop by, my friend. You need me somewhere? Always knew we could pull this off. Good to see you. Finally! These new universes won't know what hit them. Forget about the Starborn and the Hunter. It's Barrett and company from here on out. I suppose we can do that. Classic. Look, if this is it, are we doing this or not talk? Then stop right there. We're doing this. The multiverse waits for no one. You see? That's your lizard brain talking. Fear causes people to want to huddle up, protect what they have. It's up to us to show them there's more out there. Now, I'm willing to risk everything for a shot at the unknown any day of any reality. Now, let's do this. Our journey seems to hey, be coming Dusty. to an end. If you're ever thinking so, of yourself, oh, the unity awaits. I am not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know. Lead to a better place. I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost, and... someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. If you are free soon, could we talk? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under, um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them?
I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I worry that some of the others are unable to see past this. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Strange. I admit it has never been an issue before now. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Thank you. That is reassuring. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. Indeed it was. And now I hope you can see why. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. Any new orders for me? This is amazing! The, the, the unity! The multiverse! This is everything! And more! Literally! I admit, I was really hoping they were. But I cannot believe I limited my hopes and dreams to only aliens now. Jeez, this explains so much, though. They're disorganized, petty, weird, and also deeply fascinating at the same time. Because they are just people. We never rule that out, but it feels so good to know we weren't fighting against robot alien ghost gods or something.
You're right. They've heard us in their quest for power. They've heard countless others. What if every other universe is in shambles because of them? We don't know. But it all comes back to this. We don't know what will happen if you enter the Unity. You might lose yourself or become a two-headed space shark. There are too many variables. What? No. I just have to go back and forth about it for a while first and then I'll be completely fine. Just part of my process. Of course, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I will say this. Our entire purpose in Constellation is to explore. Why would we stop now? I'm with you. I'm not gonna hold you back. But if you, you know, become evil or whatever, I'm also not gonna have your back. Anytime. The possibility of turning evil aside? <laughs> I appreciate you taking the lead on this. You're guiding Constellation to new frontiers, new discoveries, and we should all follow your example. Uh, on that note, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you, if you have time. It's not on the scale of entering the Unity, but it is tangentially related. Thanks. <laughs> this has been swirling in my brain goo for a while now. So, I've been pondering over what's happened and what it all means. And I've got a favor to ask. A teensy-weensy favor. About the size of a plank length, really. I think it's time I joined you in the physics bending powers business. <laughs> See if one of those temples works for more than just you. For normal folks, yes. For someone of your stature, a walk in the park. As it so happens, I've already talked to Vladimir. Seems our eye in the sky is back up and running. He sent me the coordinates for the temple already. We just have to visit. have my attention.
Stable orbit achieved. We could stay here forever. Well, for a while anyway. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. That's good. You'll need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. 
The Emissary remains in this universe, but your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the Unity. Many noble Starborn will be reborn under their guidance. The Constellation membership who stays behind will, in time, publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Your lover, Sarah Morgan, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom, more children are born who want to be explorers. The gate of light will take you to another universe, or simply walk away until the stars fade to return to your ship. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
Unregistered starship, we're detecting... Well, it's what we're not detecting that's an issue. What's powering that thing? You know what? Just... Hold still while we do the contraband check. Scan complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on the United The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there. Nothing's changed. Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear her out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if she's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it.
So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. You're not quite the angel I thought may have made the artifacts. <laughs>